We're back continuing our conversation with Chris Wing, the president and CEO of Scan Health Plan. Uh, I, I know, Chris, that, uh, that Scan listens to its members, and uh, one of the important assets that it brings is this understanding mm -hmm. of, of the lifestyle of your members. We think it's very important to listen to them. And in fact, at a recent gala of the uh, Chamber of Commerce, uh, uh, SCAN was recognized and honored for its, uh, its work. And at that lovely dinner, uh, you played a, a very moving uh, piece on, uh, on trading places, on the experience of the elderly, and we want to share that with our viewers. My name is Joanne Borsma. I'm 74 years old. I resent getting old because I didn't know I wouldn't be able to do things. As you see, my hands are kind of bad. The fingers went sideways of my hand, and I have no strength in them. I can't open a carton of milk. I really think it would be important if people had to just stop for half a day and see what life is like when you get old and are infirmed. Um, a lady the other day was talking about me, and she said that I'm so frail. And then she said, fragile. I don't want people to look at me and think that. And yet I understand why she said that. People don't listen. People see somebody in the scooter and they walk around. For heaven's sakes, don't, don't, don't turn around, smile and say hello. Sometimes all it is is you need someone to just stop and say hello. Very moving piece, Chris, and, and uh, your your company has a real understanding of of, of the lifestyle of uh, of your members. You know, and the needs. Oftentimes, like in Joanne's case, it just needs a little bit of help to help them live independently and advance their health, and that's what we do. And that's what we do really well. And you have a program called Trading Places that's available at no cost to companies and uh, nonprofit groups. Where, where people can experience what it's like to be old by, by foggy glasses and, and things that block hearing. Tell us about that. Well, I think it's really important. If we're going to be interacting with seniors, we need to experience what they experience. You know, whether it's the, you know, the, the difficulty hearing, the difficulty seeing, we need to put ourselves in their places and see how they're sensing the environment. If we're really going to have, if we're going to listen to them, we need to put ourselves in their situation. I think the American Indians had a saying that you can't, criticize someone until you've walked in their moccasins. Yeah. So you're, we're trying to get people to identify more closely with what, with it, what it's like to be what old. What it really feels like to be a yeah. senior. Now one thing that SCAN has done here is expanded its, uh, its program of independence at home. Uh, and you're devoting over $5 million to give aid to non-members, not people who are part of your plan, but just people that need help. Tell us about that. You know, this speaks to what a unique organization SCAN is. Uh, every June, we go off-site with our board of directors, and they were so excited about some of the programs we were offering our members and our non-members, they actually came back without being requested, and they came back and said, here's $5 million. Go expand the footprint of SCAN throughout the communities five million bucks without being asked. So we have a division of SCAN. It's been on you know, Cherry and Willow for a long time. It's called Independence at Home. And Denise Liker um, is the vice president for Independence at Home. And she's taken this five million bucks and we're gonna radically expand the lives we touch. I think for 2014, we'll probably touch 1,700 uh, seniors. The goal for 14 is about 14,000. The goal for 2018 is 50,000. Wow and offering what seniors really need. She's very in tune to the community. 
you know, we need to help the caregivers. A lot of these caregivers who are keeping people, you know, healthy and independent need a little bit of help. They need some respite care. We've a got son or a daughter. A son or daughter. To keep their a neighbor, going, a friend. A neighbor. Yeah, oftentimes just a little bit of help. We also got a very exciting program that I think is fantastic. Is matching, you know, younger kids, college age kids, with seniors to help them figure out how to use technology. Kids these days, they know how to use the iPhones, the iPads, the i everything. You don't even need college kids. You get 10-year-olds and they know how to use it. And then there's <laughs> emergency assistance with meals and transportation. So we're really proud of this program, and it speaks to what we're all about. All of this to non-members of SCAN. These are all focused on non-members of well, SCAN. Well, that is, that is impressive. Uh, uh, SCAN, SCAN listens and... Uh, uh, you know, for a company that's based here in Long Beach, it's so appropriate that you're reaching out in the greater Long Beach community. In fact, all of L.A. County, I guess, now. Well, throughout Southern California. Yeah. Throughout, uh, I think by 2018, if SCAN is in a, in a market or in a county, Independence at Home will be offering these benefits to non-members in those counties. That's Outst our goal. Outstanding. Okay, in the next segment, we want to look to the future. Uh, Obamacare, the so-called Affordable Health Care Act, the impact it's having on SCAN and, and medical providers throughout the country. We'll be right back after these messages. How do you like your chances the rest of the way? I got no idea. But I do know that if we stay with Naples Rib Company, at least we won't go hungry. Coach, what do you think about some of those questionable calls tonight? Oh, yeah, but if you want a sound call, I'd call Naples Rib Company. You can't miss on that call. Then Naples Rib Company is part of your game plan? There really is nothing more motivating than a great barbecue meal at Naples Rib Company. Victory or not, Naples Rib Company, great game plan. Founded in 1976, Polly's Gourmet Coffee is Southern California's most complete gourmet coffee store. Polly's has the best tasting coffee, freshly roasted every day right in the store. Plus a wide selection of teas, an in-house bakery, espresso bar, patio dining, and more. We also offer Wi-Fi, free internet access for all of our customers. Our nationwide clientele agree, when it comes to coffee, there's only one name to remember. Polly's, 4606 East 2nd Street, welcoming you into Belmont Shore. When I was a boy growing up in Italy, I had a dream to own my own store. I came to the United States and I worked hard as a tailor. Hi, I'm Umberto. I've been in Long Beach since 1960, carrying the finest quality men's clothing. It was a long way away, but styles are just around the corner. Umberto, 2141 Belfar, Long Beach. Who needs this modern world? I can live just fine out here without the road rage and boy bands. Of course, I might miss my charter HD with football on ESPN and Walking Dead on AMC. ESPN and AMC. And, well, Shark Week on Discovery HD, but that's all. AMC, ESPN, Discovery, TBS, and Comedy Central HD, but that's it. Except for HBO HD. Charter now has over 100 HD channels and more brilliant HD shows on demand than ever. We're back talking about this very important subject of health care with Chris Wing, SCAN Health Plan. Uh, uh, Chris, uh, the Affordable Health Care Act, how, how is that affecting SCAN? Um, well, it's a big impact. Um, you know, in 2014, there's significant rate cuts for Medicare Advantage plans like SCAN. You know, last year in 2013, we had a 2% reduction primarily because of the impact of sequestration, the lack of our government to govern. This year, the impact to SCAN was about a 7% reduction, and we're anticipating a 1% to 2% reduction for 15, 16, and 17. So the impact to us is it's a cut on our revenue. It's making us focus on being more efficient. The good news about the Affordable Care Act is the STARS program that, that CMS implemented a while ago, and it really does heavily incentivize health plans like SCAN and our metagroups to come together and offer a better product. And a better product often results in lower cost. If we can eliminate rework, reduces cost, improves quality, i.e. readmissions from a hospital setting. So it's going to be tough sledding for all of the healthcare providers, hospitals, medical groups, health plans for the next four or five years. But I think we'll emerge, if we do it right, we should emerge with a better healthcare system in the long term. 
Is the reimbursement rate affected by how many stars the provider has? Actually, yes. Basically, you have a, we're taking a roughly, as I mentioned, a 7% reduction this year. But in 2015, thank goodness that we really, our teams, our, our staff at, at SCAN and our providers embraced the whole CMS STARS concept. So the fact that we're a four and a half star plan in 14 has an impact on our 2015 bonuses. You'll get more bonus money. That is correct. Now, if you did maintain at least a four star rating in 14, you lose all the bonus money in 15. So uh, basically it's been paid out as a proportion of 5%. If you're a three and a half star, you get three and a half percent. If you're a four star, you get 4%. But beginning in 2015, if you didn't hit that threshold four star, you get a goose egg. <laughs> it's a big deal. And the stars rate what specifically? They rate certain uh, measurements of quality, like the health information data set. There's surveys where we actually, uh, CMS or their delegate, contacts our members to take a look at you know how they rate their overall health care. There's indicators as far as how well we're doing our internal services. There's uh, ratings that are based upon our compliance with CMS. It's a pretty comprehensive, there's 52 metrics, 52 metrics that guide, that make up the whole STARS program. And this is very useful in trying to improve efficiencies and, and, and quality of service when you're measuring them with that degree of specificity. Actually, the, the, the three goals of healthcare reform are supposed to be improve the quality, improve the patient experience, and reduce cost. And if you take a look at these 52 metrics, they're not perfect, but we applaud CMS. We think they do a fantastic job of measuring all three of those key objectives. I know there's a basic rule that if you measure things, you get more of them, whatever it is. And, and uh, so, so, so that's very useful. Uh, and of course, SCAN's mission has remained the same, even though the delivery system is changing, keeping seniors healthy and independent, and, and you guys are really walking the walk. You know, it was our mission 37 years ago when these 12 angry seniors founded SCAN Long Beach. It's our mission now, and I hope in nine years when I'm a SCAN member, I expect it to be <laughs> the same mission. I'm counting on this organization to, to continue with its roots. And on one of your last visits, you spoke movingly of your experience as a child where you had to visit your, your dad, who at a early, relatively early age was in a facility. Uh, I think the, the, the mission of, of SCAN as far as health and, independence, health and independence, independence resonates with me deeply. You know, I was like nine or 10, we had to put dad in a long-term care facility where he spent the last four years of his life. And if there's anything we can do to keep yeah. any senior out of a long-term care facility, there's bells that ring somewhere. We need to apply that as a society, as a community. It, it really is a big deal for the dignity of the member and it reduces so much cost to the system. That's not where we want to put our seniors. And the thousand employees of SCAN, the thousand plus employees are, are devoted to this mission. I think they come, I not think, I know they come to SCAN largely because of our mission. We are not, we, everybody talks about being a mission-driven company. It's palpable when you're at SCAN. People come because they really want to advance health for seniors and keep seniors out of long-term care facilities. Wonderful. We'll be back with the rest of our show after these messages. Bill Trainees mixes California style with continental cuisine that includes fresh seafood from around the world. Since Bill is the chef, the menu has a wide variety of pastas, salads, soups, and appetizers that feature his unique personal touch. And the Italian-American signature dishes are simply beyond delicious. You never know who you're going to run into at Trainees, from the famous sports legends on the Wall of Fame to local celebrities having a drink at the bar. For the best fine dining experience, visit Bill Trainee. 